Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with an upcycling stroke DIY video for you. So this video I've been inspired by Hermione Chantal. I hope I'm saying her name correctly. She's got a really fantastic um, DIY YouTube channel. I'm sure many of you know of her videos already. They're really brilliant. She does things like pound shop DIYs. She's renovating her home. It's all really brilliant and creative. And she did a charity shop challenge video where she took items to the value of 10 pounds from the charity shop and upcycled them. So that's inspired me to do a similar video here. I'll link her video down below. Um, but basically, I've got a load of items here from the thrift shops or the charity shop, depending on where you're watching from. And what I'm going to do is challenge myself to upcycle all of these. I think I spent a little bit more than £10, but not much more. So I'll quickly show you everything that I've bought that I'm going to be upcycling, and then I'll just take you through the process. So this is going to be a bit more of a casual kind of DIY video. It's not going to be like, um, here's what you do, because I'm kind of making it up as I go along. So hopefully it'll be a lot of fun anyway, and we'll come up with some good results. Fingers crossed, but you can always let me know in the comments what you think of it all anyway. And um, before we get going with the video, if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this, or if it inspires you, please do give it a thumbs up. Okay, so here's everything that I've bought. You may have seen these in previous hauls. I've shown all of these items, I think, already on my YouTube channel from um, thrift shop hauls, and they've just been lying in a bag waiting for me to get cracking with them. So this is the first item that I've got to show you. It's this lamp, it cost five pounds. It's been tested and it's working. I tried it out, you may remember I put the antique light bulb in it to give it a go. Um, so it's all working and it came with this grotty lampshade that does not, it doesn't smell too good. <laughs> it smells of cigarettes. But I really like the actual base itself and I think we can do something um, really fun with this. Who remembers this guy? If you do, you've been watching me for a while. He's been sitting in a bag waiting to be attended to. Um, he was £1.50. So um, we'll see what we can do with that. I picked up these shelves which were broken for uh, £2.75. Um, so the bottom shelves come off and these are just wooden. I think they're bathroom shelves. I think you can get these in places like Argos if you want to um, attempt to copy whatever I do. You probably won't. <laughs> um, and I got this mirror, but this was originally from Lidl, and I think I paid around £3.75 for this. Don't quote me on that. You can always go back and watch the haul if you're really interested to know the original price for it. Um, but yeah, it's just this plastic uh, pink mirror. So we're gonna do something with that. I don't know why I'm including this in this video, because as you know, these things are a curse if you watched um, my DIY video, which is actually it's not mine, it's Luke's DIY video over on his channel where we attempted to make um, macrames and uh, had a bit of a disaster. <laughs> but <coughs> I've got another one. This one smells as well. It really does stink of cigarettes. Oh. But um, yes, I thought we could do something with that. That was £1.50, so for a big chunky macrame like that, it's a good price. I just need to make it look a bit more appealing. And then I got some fringing or tassels, whatever you want to call it. This is a sort of greeny colour. Um, that was just like an off cut and that was £1. And I got this one for 50p. So I'm going to put some cardboard down. I'm going to start to get creative with all of this. And I've got my box of trusty paints here. My glue guns and paint brushes. And the drill is charging in the kitchen. So let's see what we can do with these items. First thing I'm doing is giving these a really good soak and a hand wash. I've just put some laundry detergent in here to get them clean. And I may as well throw the macrame in there as well. Oh my goodness, look at the colour of the water. And then I've put this guy in the bath and I've got some sugar soap solution. So I'm just going to give him a really good clean. So he's ready for painting. We'll leave you to dry out here. I've now put the macrame in the bath because it's so disgusting. I might have to bleach it. So while that's um, soaking and while the tortoise is outside drying, I'm now gonna dismantle these shelves and also take the frame off the mirror. I'm 
Just gonna put the screws in a ramekin, so I've got them handy. And now let's do the mirror. So first of all, the strap comes off. It's quite straightforward. And then we're just gonna unscrew the back of the mirror as well. They're tiny screws, so I'm gonna do this one by hand, actually. So I've got the mirror off now, so I'm gonna pop this to one side as well. So I'm gonna put those screws in the pot as well for safekeeping. And we've now got the frame off ready for painting as well. So we'll give that a quick um, go in the sugar soap too. And now we're gonna pop outside and spray everything. Now look at all these colors that I've got. I've got navy blue, I've got the copper that I've used loads of times already. I've got bright gold, I've got Gun metal, so I've got loads of choices. Um, but yes, let's go and get spraying. Oh, I've just noticed this has got these on, so I think we should probably try to take those off as well. Look at the gap there, I'll never get those back into that. So I'm just gonna put some sellotape on that bit to keep them in, and we can spray that bit, it doesn't matter. Given the mirror uh, frame a quick coat of uh, Rust-Oleum undercoat. And now I've come inside to tackle the lamp here. So I'm just gonna take the um, lampshade off. And I think that the lamp itself is all right. I did ask um, all of you guys what you thought I should do with the lamp stand. And the majority of you said I should probably just leave it as it is. And I think I agree with you. But this thing, we can definitely improve. So I think we're gonna just keep that as it is. I'll just give it a little clean up, so that's not an issue. So that's good, that's one less thing we need to do this evening. Um, but this is on its last leg, so what I'm going to do is try to remove the lampshade. I've got a carrier bag now, so I can just start to rip this all off. Oh, do you know what it is? I don't think it's got any support between the ring and the... Yeah, usually it has metal going down the sides, but because it's got the plastic liner, it's two separate pieces. And this is what I've been left with. So it was like that. So I need to think of a way to make this work still. That doesn't look too bad on its own, actually. And maybe I can use this for something else. Okay, I've taken the uh, lamp shade wire thing outside and given that coat of Rust-Oleum primer. And now while I'm waiting for things to dry and the tassels are now hanging up to dry outside and the horrible macrame is still being horrible in the bath and turning the water brown, uh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, I found this tray that I had left over from my Poundland DIYs I've done nothing with yet. So I'm going to incorporate this into the challenge. I know that's cheating a little bit, but hey ho, um, we're being creative. Um, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add some of this gold Rust-Oleum furniture paint I've never tried before. So we'll see how that goes. And then I thought what I might do is incorporate some of those um, tassels onto this and make a swaggy tray that you could put, um, well, whatever you like, but I'm thinking we could put like fragrances in it or something like that. Okay, so let's get this off. Oh wow, yes, that is looking good. How about that for a colour? I'm using a paper straw to stir this. It is so important to give your paint a really good stir whenever you do anything with paint. I always say that in these videos, but it's true. Get all that pigment mixed through it. So I think I'm gonna start by doing around the edges. Let's just get rid of that. That's going on really nice. May need a couple of coats, but I'm not too worried about the um, underneath showing through with this. Um, you'll see why, because I think once the tassels are on it, this paint's really nice just to give a furniture piece just a bit of a metallic shine as well if you wanted to go with another colour underneath. I've 
just emptied out all the brown water and I'm going to resort to some bleach. I don't like the brown colour anyway, so I'm hoping that this will take it down a few tones and hopefully not turn it bright yellow, but we shall see. Okay, so the tray is now painted. It's only one coat on here, but I think I'm going to leave it like this because I quite like the way um, you can see through um, to the wood underneath a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of the fringing all the way around the sides. This smells fresh now, so it's much, much better. I've washed it and I hung it outside to dry and it's come up really, really nicely. So we're gonna stick that on now. So I'm gonna start with it in the middle because I don't want the join to be on a corner. And I'm just gonna go in with the glue gun and just start to glue it all the way around. All the way around I've just got to the end here so I'm just gonna make a cut where I think it lines up and we'll just go in and glue this last little piece how about that I'll show you that styled up later on and now the lamp has dried so I've just given the base a really good clean so it's looking much better it just has allowed all the colors uh, to pop through a bit nicer. So I'm going to attach this now. I honestly think with anything that you pick up thrifted, the most important thing to do first is just to get it really clean. It can make such a difference to the piece. Um, so there we go. So that's looking quite good, isn't it? Um, so I just need to put the bowl back in there and that should look really nice. So I'll show you how I style that one up later on as well. And now, do you remember the hoop that was left over? Well, I've got an idea for that, so we're gonna do that next. I've got some natural jute twine. I just picked this up from the pound shop and I'm going to have a go at weaving it around the hoop. So first of all, I'm going to just wrap it around my arm to get a load of sections all the same length. Um, yeah, so let's just make one cut across the base, like that. And then we're left with all of these pieces the same length. And then what I'm going to do is take each one and just loop it through. So you just make a loop and then you bring it through on itself like that. I'm just going to keep going like that with it. So I've got to about there, which I guess is just under halfway. And now I'm going to take four of each of the uh, threads or twines and I'm going to bring them up to the top to hang it. So I think I'm going to just stretch them up like that and take four from this side and bring those ones up as well. And then I'm just going to loop them in at the top like I have been doing here. So I'm just going to alternate them, if that makes sense, and try to weave them a little bit. So let's start with the first one. I'm just gonna wrap that around and bring it out. And then the next one. Okay, there we have it. It is now a wall hanging. Come out all right, hasn't it? Quite pleased with that. So we'll uh, be styling that one up uh, later on as well. I've still got this piece of fringing to do something with, and I wasn't sure what to do. I was wondering whether to wrap it around the lampshade, but then I'm pleased with how that's looking. And then I remembered I've got this cushion that uh, came from Ikea. It's just this um, really pale pink colour. So I thought I would attach the um, piece of fringing onto the cushion. Okay, so I've just hot glued it because I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Um, but I probably would stitch over that, but how good does that look? So I'm really pleased with how that's turned out as well. So I'll show you this one styled up in a bit. Okay, so this guy has dried. He's looking all right, isn't he? I think I'm going to go on with a bit more of the furniture paint on top. I just want to add some brush stroke detail on it. Um, but yeah, I think then he will be good to go and we'll style him up as well. I'm just gonna go on quite rough because I just want it to look a bit like it's been hand painted and I think that will make it look a bit nicer. So these have now all dried and they look really nice in this navy blue gloss and what I'm going to do is instead of putting them back this way up how they were before I'm going to put them on their sides to create some box shelves 
So I'm going to drill them all in this way. So that's all done. So looking quite good. It's very shiny. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how this one's turned out too. I'm thinking I'll probably put some plants in this. And I'm maybe thinking of putting a few um, hooks across the top here um, just to hang some keys off. So yeah, I'll show you how I style this one up as well. And the mirror frame has dried now. I'm really pleased with how this gunmetal colour has come out on it. So what I need to do now is attach the mirror to this and that is everything. The macrame is still drying. There we go, that's all done. I think it looks really nice with the strap. I think the brown goes quite nicely and I'm really pleased with this colour, the gunmetal. I think it looks really cool for a circular mirror. So I'll be showing you how I style up this one as well. So that is everything complete. I'm going to leave you with some shots of how I've styled up all of these items around my home. I really hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it's given you some inspiration to do a similar thing. Maybe you could take on this challenge as well. If you do, be sure to tag me in your pictures. I always like to see how you've got on with your DIYs. All of my social media links are down below. And do go over to Hermione's channel who inspired me to do this video and check out her video as well. And if you do go over there, please say that Mr Carrington sent you. That would be really cool if you did that. If you're new here don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week and if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye! here so I'm gonna have to get some more. Excuse the pun. Oh dear. It's gonna end up all over the floor. Two seconds. With all of these pieces the same length, apart from that one, ignore that one. Um, so they're all the same actually. Maybe we just, oops, where are you? Sorry. And maybe, and maybe, and spray everything. Oh yeah. <laughs> right, it's all go because um, I've just put, oh hang on. I'm totally making this up as I go along, by the way. <laughs> There's no method to this.